M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. TRD Radio H3, if you haven't found it already, there is the TRD station by Marcus at Nick Shaw, and there's lots of videos. And if you go to the hacking page here, TRD Radio H3 hacking, you can download the zip. Just click that, download it, and really, as soon as it opens, just here, this little exe file, you've got it, it's literally that good. So I, I really like it, of course. I just thought I'd have a go at the firmware process. Now, I have been trying and it, it hasn't worked for me, but I feel like there's nothing wrong with the software that, that Marcus has written. Um, so I'm gonna show the process anyway. So go across here once you're connected. So I'm connected via USB-C at the moment. So how do I do that at the top here? I just click live port here I've got, and then 15. How do I know I'm 15? Right click device manager. You just right click your Windows squares and look 15 there look so that's how we're connected at the moment via USB-C the USB-C that's underneath the radio at the bottom where it sits on the table is for charging the side one is for PC now you can also connect another cable for firmware as well so I'm just going to put in my Bofun cable at the moment and just plug it into the side port here Okay, so what will happen now is we'll have two COM ports. So we go right click device manager, double click. We've now got a new one, COM8. So to do firmware, the process is this. I'll turn off the radio, okay, and then we'll go to where is it? Ah, the little ziggy zag here. See this? The little lightning bolt at the top. Once you've got that, go browse and then get the firmware file. I'll show you where I got that. So mine is where I put it. And if I put it on a desktop in a folder called TID bin, you create the folder, but just go right click new folder. So TID bin and there it is there. There's my firmware. So behind me is the TID website. I'll put the link in. Just download the programming software, just click download. You, it does make you log in and it puts it in your download folder. If you double click TDH3, the firmware's in there. You've got the original program for loading the firmware, which actually looks like this, which I also failed with, but it doesn't matter. I still want, the process is the same. You might have better luck. It could be my cables, who knows? So the the firmware's there, look, 240530bin, okay? And that's the file you need. So go back to Marcus's software. So we've got the bin file here, we've selected it. Now we want COM8, and the process is, and it says it here, turn off the radio, which we've done, yeah? Click start, hold PTT, and, and turn the radio on. So I'm gonna go start, hold PTT, and turn the radio on. And what will happen, if you're not having the problem I'm having, is this will just load up, don't touch anything, and that's your firmware done. And then you can go back to just normal using the radio, uh, and you've got this live here, you've got squelch, you've got so many things that you can do with this software. So I highly recommend you check it out. So at the moment we're in VFO mode, we go to memory mode, you see the radio you know, changes instantly, because we're in live mode, see here, live port, VFO A and B look switch, switching back and forth with these two little arrows. Put that into VFO. You've got if you if, into memory. Sorry, if we go back to A and tap here VFO, and if we right click where it says NT, we can do CTCSS for the A and the, the B band, and then up here you've got power, all changing live, wide and narrow. I think that's the Roger beep that one. It's, now this one here, what's that one? I've forgotten what that one is now. I think it's dual receive, but anyway. Step, and then look, all your memories, you can change your memories as well. And it changes them live, you know. Need to uh, redo all mine, got so many. I've been messing around quite a lot and exper experimenting. You've got this calibration. Not really sh sure how that works, broadcast radio and then back to 
firmware. Like I said, if you go firmware and I do it, even if I try COM15, turn off the radio. Well, if I, as soon as I turn it off, I lose connection. So let's plug it back in. Have one last try and then we'll end the video. I'm, I'm having the same problem here. Uh, with um, I might try a different cable. So if we turn off the radio as advised, uh, click start and then turn on. And I think it was COM8, so let's do the COM8. Start, turn it off, turn it on. You know, it's just not doing it. Even I keep my finger on. Now I've done firmware on this before, but it's not even working with my with my original software. Look, if I close this down completely, leave the cable in, and go to the TID. Uh, where has it gone now? Start that one there. This is the proper one. Open. There's your bin. Set com. Uh, let's make sure we got the cable in. And go right click, device manager. Give it a chance to redo, turn it off actually. Come on then, it's flashing away. There it goes, COM8. So we go set com eight click ok radio's off click start hold ptt turn on it says downloading and then it says error so that's not working i wonder if an older firmware would work because that is a new one where they've added the dimmer so thanks for watching bye for now